over the course of the time that I've been making videos, I've had a few comments asking me for a tattoo tour. You can see all of my tattoos for the most part. There's not a whole lot for me to say about them, I don't think. I'm sure I'll find something. I love talking. I made a list of the tattoos that I have because I wanted to make a timeline of when I got them, but I got most of them in like an eight month span of time. So it was really difficult figuring out what order they came in. And this might be wrong. Not that you would know whether or not they're wrong, but I just wanna say that I don't know if this is the order I got them in. So the first one is this one on my middle finger, but not really. It's what's under this one on my middle finger. I was 17 and I wanted tattoos so bad I decided I was gonna give myself a tattoo. Terrible idea. Don't give yourself a tattoo if you don't know how to do tattoos and if you don't have the equipment and if you don't know how to be safe about it. Just hold out. Anything that you want on your body at the age of 17 should not go on your body. It was the Venus symbol before. I don't have a picture of it. I know I don't. It was fine. It turned out pretty good actually. It was permanent, but I don't know, man. I just really wouldn't recommend doing that. I kept a band-aid over it. I didn't even like put ointment on it. A nightmare. Don't do that. My second tattoo is this one on my pinky, which I also did myself. Don't stand too close to a squirrel, Billy. You'll catch it stupid. I got this one like touched up, so it didn't look like this originally. It was much worse. When I got this one touched up, I also got this rocket ship on my arm right here. I had this like dream of working for NASA. <laughs> that was never gonna happen. I can't do math. I don't have the greatest health. But I loved space and I wanted to work for NASA. I wanted to be an astronaut. So I got this because it actually meant something to me. Nobody in my family has tattoos, not like this. You know, if they have a tattoo, it's pretty small and it's covered. So I was the first one in my family to branch off and start getting tattoos and I was nervous about it. After I got this one done, I called my mom and I was like, hey, let's meet at our favorite restaurant for lunch. I was sitting there thinking of how I was going to tell her. I was so nervous, dude, I was sweating. I was like, I have something to tell you. And she was like, oh my God, you're pregnant. So it actually went really well. Maybe like two weeks after I got this rocket ship, I went and got this skull. There's not really a reason for the skull, honestly. It's probably my favorite tattoo on this arm. Eh, no, that's a lie. But it's a really nice tattoo and I just don't have a meaning for it. I'm pretty sure it was like heavily based off of a tattoo I saw on Pinterest. You've got to give me a little bit of lenience, okay? I was like freshly 18. I can't stress to you how much of an idiot I was. I'm still an idiot. That goes to show how much of an idiot I was at the time. Two months after the skull, I think. I got the scorpion. This is by far my most talked about tattoo on this arm. Everybody's always asking me if I'm a Scorpio. I'm not a Scorpio. Not Where I grew up, we kind of had like a scorpion infestation. I just thought a tattoo of a scorpion would be cool. And I don't think I was wrong. I noticed probably a couple months after I got this tattoo that his head looks like a butt. That looks like a butt. No, that's a butt. And it doesn't help that there was a freckle right there underneath the butt. A lot of people have asked me before if I'm gonna get them filled in fully, and I'm not gonna do that. I originally actually just wanted them to be black and white, but whenever I talked to my tattoo artist, he was like, I think that red would look really good on your skin if you like wanna add a pop of color. So I ended up adding a tiny bit of red into basically every tattoo that I have. So he's got like red in the little drop right there and red in his claws. The dagger is another one that I just kind of ripped off of Pinterest. It's definitely different from the original picture. The original one was like sparkly and cutesy, but um, yeah, it, it did come from a Pinterest photo. <laughs> At this point, the only two finger tattoos I had were this cover up and the smiley face. The next one that I got was this lightning bolt on my middle finger. I just like lightning, that's all. I just like lightning. There was no good reason for that. Lightning's cool, lightning's pretty. I like lightning, so I've got a lightning bolt tattoo. It did blow out a little bit, which is fine. I think most of my tattoos are blown out, especially my finger tattoos. That's a weird place to get a tattoo. I've heard worse places, but I honestly don't know if I believe anybody. I think I'll have to experience it for myself because hitting the bone of your knuckle, oh my God, that's an awful feeling. And I'd do it again. <laughs> I think at the exact same time I got that lightning bolt, I also got this circle dude on my arm. It's from an anime called Future Diary. <laughs> Please. I watched it when I was like 13. I thought it was so cool. I've watched it since getting this tattoo and it's not nearly as cool as I thought it was. So I don't dislike it. I don't think I'm ever gonna cover it up because it, it does represent who I was at a time. It's also pretty inconspicuous. Nobody ever knows what it is. I hate telling people what it is when they ask, but they don't ask often enough for me to be bothered by it, so. 
I'll probably leave it. After I got this tattoo, I got this line of text right here. I'm about to tell you something that I know you don't want to hear, and it's that I like Nickelback. I, I, I just, I don't, I don't even know what to say to you, honestly, about it. Anytime I told somebody that this was a quote from Nickelback, silence. What's wrong with Nickelback music? That's not wrong with every other butt rock song on the planet. I don't know what we're being so mean for. <laughs> I would like you to take a break. You can pause the video, you can think about what I just said, and then you can come back and I'll tell you the next one. At the same time of me getting the Nickelback tattoo, <laughs> I also got this Pac-Man tattoo. I love Pac-Man. This is one of the ones that almost killed me. This middle dot right here was one of the most painful things I've ever felt. Them like grinding that thing into my finger, over and over and over again was not good. This is the only tattoo I have that has more than just red on it. Write that one down in the books because I completely forgot that it was yellow, honestly. And then at the same time of getting this and this, I also got this. It says 1251. I love the strokes and they have a song called 1251 and I wanted it on my finger and that's where it's at. A lot of people just assume that it's like a significant time for me, but it's not, it's a song. And I like that. It's another one that almost killed me. That dot is in the exact same spot as the other dot. Very painful. So after I got those three all at the same time, <laughs> I went and got this shark. The shark was so random, but it actually ended up kind of having a meaning. I was hanging out with a friend one night. We were bored. So I went and got a tattoo because that's what you do when you're bored and don't know what else to do. We showed up at the tattoo shop and the guy was like, what do you want? And I was like, I don't know, I didn't think about it. And my friend, who was a big fan of sharks, was like, get a shark. Yeah, I'll get a shark. That's, that's a great idea to stamp on my body for the rest of my life. I actually love that idea so much. That's not at all how it should go. <laughs> not long after getting it, I remembered that I had a nickname as a kid from one singular person. They called me Hammerhead. I don't know why, it's so random. Do I look like a hammerhead shark to you? That's not like the meaning behind it, but it's kind of the tie that I made with it. After that one, I got this psych on my wrist. I was just a silly, goofy girl, you know? I got this jinx next, just to match the psych. I just thought it was a cute word. We should just add an X into like every single word. It sounds so good. That's such a good letter. X, jinx, you know? So after these two, I got this tooth. This probably has the most meaning out of any of my other tattoos. I have a huge fear of my teeth falling out. I can't explain to you how nervous it makes me just to like say it out loud. I have like a phobia of teeth falling out. I can't do it. I got this tooth tattoo so I can wake up every single day and be reminded that I could lose my teeth. If you're scared of it, tattoo it on your body. <laughs> I'll tell you some teeth stories, okay? I don't even remember where the fear stemmed from, but there are two instances that made me realize that it's actually like a phobia. I was in my mom's car one day. I was eating goldfish by the hand, actually like handfuls of goldfish. And I don't know if you've ever done that before, but it creates like a suction in your mouth. At one point I had been chewing on these goldfish and when I like, unsuctioned my mouth, I felt like one of my back teeth pulled out. I immediately started bawling. I wouldn't move my mouth because I thought that one of my teeth had come out for no reason. I just thought that these goldfish were powerful enough to suck my tooth right out of its hole. So that was really scary. I had to pause. My cat was having a puke fest out in the dining room. So I had to take a moment to um, help address the situation. So I don't remember what I just said. <laughs> I guess I'll just move on. The next one is probably my most recognized tattoo. Out of all of my tattoos, this is the one that everybody wants to talk about. It's the one that everybody points out. Um, I get a lot of compliments on it. My Rick Sanchez tattoo from Rick and Morty. I was a big fan of Rick and Morty from like 2016 to like 2018. So I got this tattoo would not recommend doing what I have done. <laughs> it's the only tattoo anybody ever wants to talk about. It's attracted so many weird dudes. I don't regret any of my tattoos. Honestly, I really don't. I love my tattoos, but this one comes closest to being regrettable. With this, this was smart because I did a character that nobody recognizes. Why did I do the main character of the show? I got this one in October of 2018. Within the same month, I got these two on my thumbs. It's a spade and a heart. This was probably the worst healing experience I've had out of all of my tattoos. This thing cracked and bled and took like 
months to heal. You can tell by looking at it, the scarring underneath it, it cracked right down the middle and it was a deep crack. It was a very, very painful crack. So it healed really weird. And I don't think I'm ever gonna get it filled because I actually like that it healed weird. That makes me love it just so much more. Love the character this guy's built. <laughs> I got the spade just to kind of match the heart. I didn't want the heart to be alone. So I got the spade. I'd like to get the diamond and the club too, to kind of complete the collection, but I don't know where I want to put them. According to my calculations, the next tattoo that I got was two months later. I got the spade and the heart and the Rick in October of 2018. I got this dice in December of 2018. There was no like legitimate reason for it being a dice, but I did get three, six, and one, 13 and six are my favorite numbers. Nothing too crazy. It's just a dice with my favorite numbers. After the dice, I got Psycho Killer on my side, not because I am one, but because I love that song. If you haven't heard Psycho Killer by the Talking Heads, one, how, but two, go listen to it, I guess. There's no like meaning that I find for myself in the song. You know, like the meaning is that I like the song. I do think it's kind of ironic that I have it because there's a line in that song that says, when I have nothing to say, my lips are sealed. And that's just like, not me. <laughs> I was kind of branching out getting this tattoo because all of my other tattoos are on my arms. So getting one on this side, maybe you want to get one on this side. And on this side, I just have a really long, basic red rose. There's really no meaning behind the rose. I have no connection to roses. I don't even really like roses that much, if I'm being honest with you. I just thought that it was a pretty design. That's why I got it. I took about a year long break in getting tattoos after all of those. Around like November of 2019, I got my first tattoo of the year and it was this one. It's very cute, very pretty, very nice tattoo. I love this tattoo so much. I love sunshine and I love being outside just hanging out, you know? I got this because of that. It's kind of just a reminder that outside exists. Maybe that's all my tattoos are. It's just a bunch of reminders. I like to go outside. I listen to the strokes. I'm scared of my teeth falling out. After getting this one, I took an even longer break. I didn't get tattoos again until May of 2022, like two and a half years, I think, of not getting any new tattoos. And the only reason I got new tattoos is because one of my friends wanted to go get flash tattoos for Friday the 13th. And I would never ever turn down going to get a new tattoo for Friday the 13th. I would never do that. So I went into that and I got this speed limit sign on the back of my arm. And I also got some cherries on my hip just cause I could. I love this one. The one that's on my hip's a little questionable. I don't regret it. I wouldn't get rid of it. I just think I'm gonna fill it in one day because I don't like that it says 13 in the middle, but that was the whole point is that it was on Friday the 13th. So they wouldn't take the 13 out, you know? And I was like, it's a cheap tattoo, but now I'm gonna have to pay to get it filled in. So after that Friday the 13th, when I got these two tattoos, I went to the next Friday the 13th, which was in January of this year. And I got this fishbone that's on my wrist right there. I'm from Florida. Fishing is a huge thing in Florida. So it kind of ties back to like childhood stuff. It is shaded. None of my tattoos are shaded. And when I sat down to get this tattoo, the guy didn't ask me if I wanted it shaded or not. He just shaded it, which I thought was kind of weird because everybody else was getting asked if they wanted their shaded. It was extra, by the way, it doubled the price of the tattoo. So I got this tattoo for like a normal priced tattoo. I don't mind that it's shaded. I just like, why didn't you ask me? Why wasn't I asked? Why was, he, why was I the only one that wasn't asked? I think he probably just didn't like me. And then the very last tattoo that I got is on the back of my neck. That's this moth. I just like moths. So that's all of my tattoos. That took a really long time. That took like two hours. At the beginning of this video, I was like, what am I even gonna talk about? I have nothing to talk about because none of these have meanings. Turns out a lot of them do. And actually I had a ton to talk about. So <laughs> as always, I had so much to say. I love talking. I hope you had a good time. I had a good time. I'm so hungry. So I'll see you later. I'm gonna go eat pizza. We got pizza for dinner. Oh my God.